My name is David Gorman and I'm from Shelton, Washington. The culture of Peru is very diverse. Catholicism and uh, the old Incan religion have mixed in a pretty cool way. Also, I didn't really realize how many ruins there were everywhere. I thought there were just a few, like Machu Picchu, maybe a few other, but it's it, almost everywhere you drive you can see, maybe not big ones, but small ruins almost everywhere. So I didn't realize how intact the Inca Empire really was. The community service is very tiring, and usually when we get home from it, everyone wants to just lie down for a little while, take a break, eat some lunch. But I mean, in the long run, it's, it feels very rewarding because when you see how less fortunate these people are, and like these people, they don't, they don't really get many chances. So I just want to help them out as much as I can while I'm here. When I came into this program, I didn't really expect to really learn as much as I really did. I thought it was going to be mostly community service, just keep working, go home, rest, eat, do it again the next day. I didn't really realize how much cultural immersion was going to be in this program. And it's really a pleasant surprise because we've had a lot of fun doing stuff like that. We've had plenty of chances to talk to different people. We're supposed to see a shaman pretty soon. We went to an orphanage, talked to a nun there about how the children are doing, how they help to feed people. I mean, we just have this spectacular view of the mountains. We're up over, way over 10,000 feet, just up on this pass, and we just see snowy mountains in every direction. Finally, we got to our uh, rafting spot, and everyone was really excited because, I mean, everyone had been looking forward to whitewater rafting the whole time. A few people were a little nervous. But I won't uh, deny that I was a bit nervous about that experience, but it was, oh man, it was so much fun. Our tour guides were a lot of fun. Uh, the boats kind of competed with each other. Like, we would splash each other, kind of race each other down the rapids, see who could go fastest. It was, it was a very fun experience. Being in this country has sort of opened my eyes to America. It's, there's so many things I took for granted, like just the idea of just a grocery store, something like that. I mean, they don't really have that here. You go to a market, you barter, you just have open fruit stands everywhere. But they don't really have that centralized spot to buy everything. And the houses, everyone lives wherever they can. It seems like the standard of living is a lot lower. And I, I was expecting that, but I didn't realize like how much lower it's going to be. Because I figured Cusco would be a pretty big city, even in the city, let alone outside of it. It's still, the conditions aren't great. Like there's dirt roads, there's just like, lots of stuff I wasn't expecting. If I had to sum this program up, I would say that it is very difficult. The community service is physical labor and it's at a very high altitude, so that adds to it. But I just feel like it's very rewarding. It keeps me going knowing that they really need this more than I do. I mean, I'll be tired for a little while, but they'll have a long lasting thing. It's sort of eye-opening to see really how, how the rest of the world is compared to us and how well off we really are. Like, I think, oh man, I can't afford a big TV, I'm poor. And they're like here, it's like, oh, I can't afford food. Perspective is totally different. It's just very, it's very unexpected. And I don't know, it's something you don't really get a chance to do anywhere else. Brew is unique in a lot of ways.